And this is actually pretty insane because did you know that you can now create PNG, that means transparent images, right inside ChatGPT. So this image which you see just here, where it says my weekend is all booked, this was created fully inside ChatGPT. And as we can see, if we hover over this, this is actually a transparent image. Now, what I want to do is quickly cover a few little bits. Then I'm going to share a bunch of different prompts that you can use to play around inside ChatGPT. And then I'm going to show you how to actually do this. So first off, I opened the chat here in ChatGPT and I asked it, can you create transparent images? And how do you create them? So it says to me, yes, I can create transparent images. How I create transparent images is just here. So to generate a transparent image, I follow these steps. Prompt understanding. So you tell ChatGPT what you want. A logo, an icon, a sticker style image. Just mention that you want it with a transparent background. Now it says, I use a tool that supports transparent PNG generation. So if we come to here, I actually said, what's the tool? So it says, the tool I use behind the scenes is part of OpenAI's image generation system, specifically based on DALI, which has been upgraded to support in painting, image editing, and transparent background generation. So this is absolutely awesome, and it could be a game changer for quite a few of you here. So what this can now do is generate images from scratch using text prompts. It can create transparent background PNGs when requested, and it can edit and modify parts of existing images with precision. Now, I haven't played around with this part yet, but I will over the next few days. Now, it also says this is not a third-party app like Photoshop or Canva. It's baked right into how I work. You just describe what you want, and I handle all of the heavy lifting under the hood. Now, I thought I'd also ask it, if we come down to roundabout here, if you can create these transparent images on the free plan. Now, instead of me reading all of this, go ahead, pause the video, have a little read. This just essentially says that you can, but you are limited to what you can create. Heck, you're even limited on the pro plan or the plus plan as well. Now, let's come down to here because what I was actually doing was coming over to my ideogram. You can actually come ahead, take some of these prompts and use how you want as well. What I'll do is link my public profile down in the description. Then all you have to do is simply come over, click on one of the designs, come to the right hand side just here, and then you can copy one of these prompts come over and then you can use them. But I was coming over to my ideogram. I was using some of my free prompts. I was also going on my private profile as well. And I was just taking some of these to test out. And some of these turned out really good. Now I should have been more specific with this one with it saying white letters or white font because we can't really see that. But nonetheless, this does look pretty, pretty good. But if we keep scrolling, this one turned out really nice. I like how this looked. This is my weekend is all booked. Then if we come down to here, this one looked pretty good as well. To be fair, most of the ones that I generated actually looked really good. Now, I was also playing around with Valentine's Day greeting card illustrations as well, which I also have over here on my ideogram profile. And this turned out just as good as well, just as we can see. You're just my type. Now, this one's more for Valentine's, and obviously Valentine's has gone. But this one as well, sips get risky after glass three. This one looked good, and they all looked pretty good, apart from this one and apart from this one. Now, when I entered this prompt, I should have really changed out. Where is it? Just here, where it says card, because it created this just as a card. But this looks good. 
this looks good. In fact, this one was actually spelt wrong. That was the only one which was spelt wrong as well. But if we keep scrolling, this one turned out absolutely awesome. It seems like you can do multiple style fonts as well within this image generation. This one looked really good as well. And then I went ahead and just did a snail, which also turned out extremely well. Now, how do you actually use this? Well, it's pretty simple. You come onto ChatGPT, and then you click on these three dots, and then you click on Create Image, and then you can put your prompt. Now, again, I have multiple different prompts over here on my Ideogram public profile, which seems like it actually works really well over in ChatGPT as well. So come through, check these out. I also have a couple of freebies. This one is by 100 Ideogram prompts where you get 50 prompts for stickers and 50 prompts for t-shirts. I'll link this down in the description. This is completely free, along with my other freebie as well, where this one is quote graphic t-shirt prompts. If you sign up for these, you can then use the prompts to play around with over here in chat GPT. But let's go ahead and choose one of these. Now, what I've also found is that the simpler the design, the better. When you have a lot going on in your prompt, it's a lot harder for ChatGPT to create. But let's go ahead and just take a simple one of these. In fact, let's scroll all the way down because I have some really nice designs further down this list. As you can see, there's lots of cool free stuff here on my ideogram. But let's go ahead and let's take this one. So if you find a design that you like here on my public profile, click onto that design, come to the right hand side, this is going to be the prompt. All we have to do is simply copy that prompt. We can come over to ChatGPT. We can plug that in. Remember what we first want to do is click on the three dots, click on create image, and then we can simply put in that prompt. But remember to make this transparent, what we want to do is go through and change that part. So if we read this, this actually says a quirky, vibrant, Valentine's Day greeting card illustration. I'm going to take out that greeting card because it sometimes has trouble with that. So we're just going to have vibrant illustration. And right here, bright coral background. We want to change out this part and we want to put transparent, just like that. So now it says a quirky and vibrant illustration with a transparent background. Always remember that transparent if you're trying to create transparent PNGs. But now, if we click enter, it takes probably a good 30 seconds or so, and then it creates it. You can also see it being created in real time. So if I carry on talking, we're going to see this. It does take some time, but the results are also pretty, pretty good. Now, here we go. It is a little bit slower compared to other text to image generations, but I'm guessing over the next few months, as they start updating this even more, it will probably get a little bit quicker. But if you already have ChatGPT, then I highly suggest coming through, playing around with it, checking out all my prompts as well, and then you can see what you can create. Now, here we go. We can see this being created in real time, and we can see the transparent background as well. Now, remember, this is for you, crack me up, and it's got to have this little egg. We went through, we changed a few parts of the prompt to make it transparent as well. And because this was specifically for a greetings card, we took that reference out. But there we go, it's now been created. You crack me up. And if we look, we have that PNG image, which again is absolutely awesome. So with this, I would say that you wouldn't be able to use this as is. You would probably still need to upscale this just to make it better quality, but we don't actually have to remove the background because this has been removed. Now, even though this is pretty cool, it's still not the best. So with Ideogram, if we come over to here, these have recently released their 3.0 and the designs on these are absolutely amazing. So even though ChatGPT has just changed the game with creating 
PNG images is still not up there with Ideogram in terms of design. Ideogram is now probably the best out there for creating designs. But ChatGPT is pretty cool because we do now have this feature. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then don't forget to give me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.